now, weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Well, the good news about today was we had at least some sunshine. Yes, there were a lot of clouds, but there was some sunshine and temperatures reflected that mid 40s this afternoon for highs. We're still at 45. Uh, looking at temperatures now across the area after a quick peek at those morning lows, which were cold. We hit 20 this morning in Springfield with a sprinkling of upper teens to the north and northeast. Uh, temperatures this afternoon, though, did, uh, did manage to warm into the middle and upper 40s, and it, it might have been a little bit warmer had we not had so much cloud cover. Uh, right now, that 45 is still running about 11 degrees warmer than 24 hours ago, so we are heading in the right direction and these trends will continue into this upcoming weekend. On radar right now, we are showing some green on the map, but this isn't reaching the ground. At least this leading edge of precipitation isn't reaching the surface. Once we get back toward I-35 and I-70, we are finding some wet weather, and this is what's going to be dropping southeast across the area this evening. Uh, looking at the bigger picture, this is just one of a pair of clippers. We've got another one that's located just north of Montana. That one will be following a similar path across the area, maybe a little bit further east. So we'll see similar conditions on Friday as to what we had today as a result of this clipper pattern, which will be coming to an end after Friday. Hour by hour forecast shaping up like this. Dry right now. Looking at mainly cloudy skies, I expect dry conditions to hold on for a couple of more hours, but by 8 o'clock, look for showers to be spreading across the I-44 corridor. I think through 10 o'clock, we're looking at wet conditions, but by midnight, we should be looking at that shower activity exiting off to the southeast. And yes, it's not out of the realm of possibility that some wet snow could mix in, especially over this higher elevation area just east of Springfield, where temperatures are probably going to be in the mid 30s. Now, the good news is, good news is I'm not expecting any like road impacts. I don't really expect any accumulations out of this. It's just sort of a novelty. Those showers moving off to the southeast. And then after that, we should find clear skies developing. And that may open the door to some patchy fog over southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas, where we'll have that combination of clear skies, lighter winds, and also the moisture left over from the rain that we see this evening. And then tomorrow, we'll find uh, again another day with sort of a sun clouds mix. Certainly more sunshine over southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas than we we had today cloudier conditions off to the northeast though and this is where we're going to have a better shot at maybe a few showers during the day on Friday as that clipper moves southeast across the area. Uh, temperatures tonight uh, once we the skies cleared out will settle out just a little bit below freezing. It looks like upper 20s to the northeast, 29 or 30 here in Springfield. Looks like about freezing in Branson. And then temperatures tomorrow, warmest to the southwest, where I'm expecting mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. This is where highs will be in the low to mid 50s. I think we're going to be up around 50 or 51 here in Springfield. Cloudier, though, to the east and northeast, and that's going to hold temperatures down like they did today, about 46 for high in Rolla. The pattern, though, looking warmer and looking nicer going into the weekend. We're going to see this clipper pattern move east out of the area. More of a ridge sets up by Sunday into Monday. Mild air overspreads the area, and we're looking at some um, really nice conditions for the front end of the weekend. And Sunday's not looking too bad either. Now, looking at, uh, say, Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday, we are going to be getting into a pattern that favors wet weather, and it looks like we could see a lot of wet weather with a potential of maybe one to two inches of rain south of the interstate. Lighter totals to the north of of the interstate. But again, before we get to that, we are going to have some decent days over the weekend. Looks like low to mid 60s on Saturday with generally sunny skies. Sunday cloudier, but still highs around 60. And we'll hold off the rain chances till the end of the day. I feel like our temperatures are trending upwards. Yes. And what you don't see there is what we're going to be finding in the pattern beyond next Thursday. And I think we are going to see an extended stretch of quiet and warmer weather through the following weekend. Mm, looking forward to that. What's our viewers club number? Number is 259-030 and our jackpot is $1,900. All right, Jamie, thank you.